Welcome back to the shop. Uh, today I'm going to do a bit of maintenance on the Ingersoll air compressor here. Um, wanted to replace the air filter on this for a little while here. Uh, if you have one of these Ingersoll compressors and price these filters out, they're stupid expensive for what they are. Um, I've got these tiny little paper filters in here and uh, these are about 16 to 20 bucks a piece depending on where you can find them if you can even find them at all um, so what i did is uh did some searching around and managed to find a slightly bigger housing for this that uh, has got a bigger filter uh, more readily available apparently you can even get them at napa so um, as you can see this one here is pretty pretty dirty so i'll show you what we're going to use here and uh we'll get that put on and uh don't mind the shrieking uh, rooster in the background there. My neighbors told me they were getting chickens, which I was fine with. And then a rooster showed up yesterday. But uh, fortunately, I've got a uh, loud enough sound system in the shop here that when I'm not doing videos, I can drown the little bastard out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so this is a filter I ended up going with, uh, it's a Solberg, I don't know how you actually pronounce that, uh, it's an FS15075, um, the 15 means a size 15 filter, and the 075 tells you that it's a uh, 3 quarter inch pipe thread in the inlet. Um, it seems to be fairly decent quality, um, the box it comes in, not so much. Um, doesn't say anywhere where this is actually manufactured, which... I think you all know what that means, but um, Solberg is an American company. Um, so the reason I went with this one, there was a smaller one. I think it was only rated for oops, 10 to 12 cubic feet a minute. Um, this one's rated for 25 cubic feet a minute. Um, the reason I went with this one was just the uh, size of the filter. Um, as you've probably seen in previous videos, you do do some sandblasting in the shop here, and it can get dusty at times. So I think... Uh, this is going to work out a lot better. Um, but yeah, like I said, three quarter inch inlet, which is an issue because the compressor is a uh, half inch. So what I did is was took a uh, pipe nipple, cut it off and uh, ground it down a bit so that it'll actually slip inside. Um, so what I'm going to do, as you can see, it slips inside there pretty decent. So what I'm going to do is just cut this off right at the threads here shove that in, weld it on, and uh, we should be good. I was going to just get a three-quarter to half-inch bushing, but um, this is already going to stick out quite a bit further than the old filter housing, so I didn't want to push it out too much further. Um, it is close to the bench there, and I just don't want to be smashing into it. So we'll do it the uh, hack job way, and like Mr. Heavy Chevy says, support your local hack. Okay, so I got that ground down, and... Uh, fitting in there nicely. Uh, it's pretty well press fit in there. So we'll go ahead and just buzz that in with the welder and we should be good. Okay, so I got that fitting welded on there. Uh, we're just using the uh, Miller 211, which uh, if you're looking for a good shop welder just for the home shop or doing smaller stuff, uh, can't say enough good about these. Uh, I had a Lincoln previous to this. It was all right, but uh, sold it uh, when I moved and then ended up purchasing this Miller a few years ago. And yeah, it's a great little machine. Uh, I do have the old uh, Lincoln down there too for real nasty stuff. But um, what I did is I just threw a, an old fitting I had on there just to keep, uh, keep the splatter off the threads. And uh, it's still pretty hot here, but we'll get this off and uh, See if it fits. Okay, so I'm ready to get the new uh, filter installed here. Um, I did go ahead to, and uh, inside these nipples, you'll have a uh, welded seam. Uh, you can probably see it there. So I just took a die grinder with a, a carbide burr on it and buzzed that out of there and polished the inside of the pipe. But you can see here, um, a slight difference in filter size. Um, like I said, I wasn't too concerned about the cubic feet a minute. Uh, the smaller filter that Solberg had would have been pretty close to what I needed, but um, 
more so just looking for the increased filter capacity. Um, these ones here get gunked up pretty fast, so um, we'll fire this on. And uh, some people have said it's a bit quieter with these uh, with these housings on, so we'll see if it makes a difference at all. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes. So I got it all mounted on there. Um, I'll probably pop it back off at some point. Uh, I don't have any gray paint in stock right now. I'll give that a quick coat of paint just to keep that from rusting up. But uh, pretty happy with all that fits. Like I said, I didn't want to add the uh, add the adapter bushing on there because we're already pushing the edge pretty close here, and I didn't want it to be sticking out too far. So that's why we went the uh, hack job route. So we'll go ahead uh, after running the die grinder there. We're for enough blow pressure that uh, she should fire up, so we'll see what it sounds like. Well, that was unexpected. Uh, I never did a before video with the original filter there just because I wasn't expecting much of a change in sound, but uh, with that Solberg on there, it's quite different. It's a lot deeper and a little less annoying than it was. This compressor has always been pretty quiet, but uh, I went ahead and stuck the original filter back on there and we'll fire it up and do a comparison here. See if you can hear the difference on camera. So after running both of them here for a bit, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say that this one's quieter. Uh, depending on where you're standing in the shop, um, if you're on this side here, uh, it's definitely got more of a deeper kind of a hollow sound. But once you're back over on the other side of the shop here, um, I wouldn't say there's much of a difference. But uh, it might just be my imagination, but I ran it from 90 PSI up to, uh, up to fill pressure there. And it seemed a lot quicker than usual, so I don't know if... Uh, it's breathing a little better. That old filter was pretty dirty, so um, wouldn't surprise me. And looking inside this old filter too, I mean, it's it's pretty restricted in there. That cross covers a bulk of the intake. So um, yeah, I think uh, I think I'm happy with it. Um, the extra noise, I mean, even if it's a little louder, um, if it's more efficient, that doesn't bother me. And like I said, uh, it all came down to being able to get filters for these. Um, these are a bit more readily available and uh, despite the fact the filter is 10 times the size it's actually uh, cheaper or same price pretty close so so that's it for today um, hopefully that's helpful and uh, we should see some more videos uh, hopefully with the 68 coming up here and uh, I'm getting to work on the uh, 97 f250 out there gotta get started on uh, this pile of crap that's been sitting here uh, waiting to go on so we'll get on that and uh, we'll see you next time thanks for watching